What's up, Yesterland fans? I'm Neil, aka The Mundus, and we've got a mail call here today. That's right, I got some boxes here to open up. Now, these are items that I picked up over the last few weeks, and um, I got a special one here, an envelope that was sent to me here this past week, and I'm gonna actually open that up here first. I do have one item here that I've already opened up, so um, I do apologize, but I had to open that up probably about three weeks ago uh, for the shipper, or correction, the person that sent it to me, just to make sure that it arrived. He was very, very concerned based on the um, the the mail uh, carrier that he used, which was regular uh, postal service, but he'd been having some issues with that carrier. So he's like, hey man, when you get it, I need you to open it right away. So I was originally gonna save it to open up, but it's all good. I'll go ahead and show it to you here in a minute. But before we do, I know this is kind of a new setup, right? We're doing this kind of front person, not behind the camera. You actually get to see my face as I'm talking, as I'm doing the, um, the unboxing and all that. So kind of working outside of my comfort zone here today. So tell me if you like it. Do you like the camera on me and doing these unboxings or would you prefer still me behind the camera in my little makeshift studio and you just see my hands and you hear me talking. So let me know in the comments. And uh, before we get started, remember to like and subscribe to my channel. Remember to hit that notification button up in the right hand corner. And if you like these videos, be sure to hit that notification button and subscribe so you get the latest content and the notification when my videos drop. And as always, remember to share this with the toy community. Remember to share it with your friends. Uh, I'm just trying to build my, my channel and it's slowly growing. But hey, I gotta say something. One of my videos that I posted last week, which was Yesterland Toys Top 10 Action Figure Cartoons of All Time, has surpassed 700 views. Now, I know that doesn't seem like a lot, but in my world, being as small as I am, that's a big achievement. So thank you to everybody that's watched that video or passed it on or how the algorithm works with YouTube and uh, advertising it for me. I really appreciate it. So thank you guys for getting me past that 700 mark. So that's that's pretty cool. So without further ado, let's check this out. Let's get into this. So my first one here, and I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna show the address and all this, protect the senders and all the, or the, the person that sent it to me, but this is, this is a, um, an envelope that was sent to me and y'all can probably see, anybody that recognizes that sticker, everybody knows who that is. That's gonna be Ryan or AKA Laser Pants 81 from the 3POA podcast. Um, they did a live stream last weekend and at the end I caught right in the, the comments before they uh, stopped you know, going live. And I said, hey man, I go, do you guys got any stickers? And um, Ryan reached out to me the next day and he goes, hey man, did you still want stickers? And I said, dude, I love stickers. I'm a sticker fool. So I'm all about, you know, displaying my stickers and whatnot when I get them or when people give me stickers. So Ryan sent me some stickers. So let's crack into it and let's see what, what he got, got us or gave us. All right. So. There we go, the first one opened up. And we'll set those right there. Looks like he gave me a little card here to read. And let's see what it says. It says, Neil, thanks for supporting 3POA podcast. Cheers, Ryan, AKA Laser Pants. Thanks, Ryan. I really appreciate that, man. This is awesome. Um, I appreciate you, you know, liking my channel, man, and giving me the love and support as much as I'm giving it um, to you guys. And with that being said, hey, if you haven't already, go up to YouTube, just type in 3POA Podcast, and click and subscribe to that channel, guys. I'm telling you, you're not gonna get any you know better hosts that are gonna be putting out, or any better channels that are gonna be putting out any better content. They're up there with Retro Blasting. Uh, Tony from Analog Toys, he's he's on 3POA every other Saturday. They bring you great content. Um, Bobby Valla from Valiverse and his Action Force figures. Do yourself a favor. If you want honest, true rewards, not our um, reviews, and you don't want, um, you know, biased, you know, uh, 
channel reviews where they were been bought or sent these toys and they're told to, you know, review positively or, you know, they're not going to be able to review their toys anymore. They're the channels to go to. It's those guys like that that are putting out the content and the honesty that needs to be in the community. They're telling it like it is. They're not holding back. And on top of that, they're putting out great stuff. So I encourage everybody to go to that channel um, and like and subscribe, man. They're almost there. They're almost there to a thousand uh, subscribers to where they can be monetized. So they get there, man. They're going to be giving away some some toys. The the host, uh, Ryan and uh, Tony. Tony's already agreed to. He's going to be giving away something. So they're almost there. I think they're almost at 900 now. So they got a hundred more subscribers to go. So by the time this air, this video drops. So without further ado, let's see what's uh, the stickers here that Ryan, Ryan sent. So Ryan sent me uh, some of his, his stickers alone. That's his little um, YouTube and Instagram, his little uh, picture that he uses. So he gave me, gave me a couple of those. And then he sent me a 3POA podcast sticker. That's awesome. I'll be rocking that here. I don't know where I'll put these, but I'll be rocking. And then he sent me some other ones. He sent me a couple more. So thanks a lot, Ryan, man. I really appreciate it. Um, moving on. Check it out. So this is the one that I opened up here a couple, uh, a couple weeks ago to make sure that the package was... Um, okay and the contents inside the item gonna get damaged or uh, or destroyed in any way so uh yeah let's get into it so i after watching one of um i believe it was analog toys video when he did it with um i can't no it wasn't two cents toys it was uh, oh it was chasing 80 toys it had scuba pete on it it had um tony it had, and I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm butchering the other host on there, but he is uh, now just getting into mask. So I do apologize for for not, you know, remembering your name. I'll pay homage to it. I'll go back and I'll, I'll throw it up here on the on the screen. But uh, laser paint or correction, Scuba said there's one thing, <laughs> there's one thing with the mask toy line, the Kenner mask toy line that we remember, uh, and now as adults is. Once you really get into it, uh, you end up going down a rabbit hole. And that rabbit hole can take you on a journey like no tomorrow. So uh, I did that. That video just inspired me to go get some more mass toys. I've got some up here displayed. Um, but I, I ended up getting four here. I just went on and I started watching these auctions and whatnot. So the first one up to bat that I picked up, and that was the um, Iguana. And it came with its insert here, as you can tell. I love the, um, the simplicity in the directions and how to operate this. It, it, it has that Star Wars vibe to it, if you will. Really kind of reminds me of that Star Wars vibe on their um, marketing directions and how to uh, use the and operate the toy. But here it is. Here's Iguana. Now, Iguana came in the later line. I believe this was more towards like 87, if I'm not mistaken. 87, 88. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments there. I'm pretty sure that's where it came out. I don't see a date on the... Um... Oh, yeah. 1987. So, this is Iguana. He was always one as I was getting older in the toy line i thought it was pretty cool i've, I've always been kind of like a quad guy motorcycle guy so when i when i uh picked him up or got him for a good deal i was like yeah that's awesome the one thing i i did not get with him obviously is his, his mask so the helmet but um he works uh, i believe he's missing some of his uh weapons and whatnot but or accessories i think there was an extra saw blade that pops out i can't remember it's been so long um, but anyways, yeah, we got Iguana there. So Iguana was one that we, um, that we got picked up there and, uh, moving on. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what this one is. This one's wrapped in, they wrapped it in brown paper.
<coughs> excuse me, my throat's a little dry this morning. It's been windy. I've been out the last couple days. My daughter graduated from high school. We've been very, very busy. I apologize to those channels that I normally um, hop in on those live streams, but I'm sure y'all can understand. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. I packed it with newspaper, which is not bad. Gave it that extra padding. Make sure nothing's in there. Put that off to the side there. And let's see what we got here. Oh, all right. Let's see here. This is, I believe this is, uh, and, uh, check it out. We got the car with the action figure and the mask. Looks to be in pretty good condition from what I remember. Looks pretty awesome. Graphics are all there. Let's see if it, uh, if it works. Now, I never had this as a kid. No. I'm going to have to play with it a little bit more and see what's going Oh, there we go. <laughs> There's the car spinning there. The front end. Oh, and the door came off. But anyways, we'll, uh, we'll play with that a little bit more anyways later. But... It's in really good shape. The decal stickers on there, the graphics, for being as old as it is, it's not bad. So, and let's check out his head. Mask is on there pretty tight. There we go. Check it out. See that there? Pretty cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So moving on here, let's see what's in the next one here. <clears throat> so yes, if you, if anybody knows about the mask toy line, which I know the, ma the majority of you folks do, uh, they made so, oh. <laughs> At least they packed it and made an attempt, but one thing that I hate, oh my lord, I hate freaking uh, these styrofoam popcorn bubbles. It's just messy. But at least they did a good job and made the effort of, of getting it done. All right, and it looks like it's, this might be in mint condition, I can't remember. I'm gonna set that here off to the camera. And we got another instruction and that is bullet. I picked up bullet and I remember betting on this a couple, yeah, close to probably a month ago. And um, bullet was always one of my favorite. Like I said, I'm, I've always been into like the motorcycles and the quads and stuff like that. So I got a good, uh, I got a good deal on this. So it was a no brainer one. And this one I do, I, I believe it's in mint condition. So check it out. We got the bullet. Now, I know one thing I noticed right off the bat, I think I got I think he sent me the wrong mask for it. <laughs> for this character. But uh, it's okay and the the front windshield here is popped off the motorcycle. But that's okay. I'll be able to pop it back on. Let's see here. It's going to take me a second to get it in there, but anyways, and bullet doesn't look, looks like, whoops, huh, the whole thing popped off on me, the legs. So here I am, my big fat fingers, I'm fumble, screw, uh, excuse my language, fumble, you know, whaty in these. So 
But anyways, there we go. We got bullet. And this is one thing that I remember. I've I've heard a lot of complaints in the in the older line or the later in the series in the line is that they they weren't built as well as the first series stuff. They got a little bit not I don't want to say more complicated. They just became I don't know I don't know what's the word careless in the design and all that. I guess I don't know. But anyways, on how they uh, how they uh, built them. And then we have the driver here, which he's actually in really good shape. Really, really good shape. But again, I'm gonna show you right here in a second. I'm pretty sure that's not his mask. And I, I off the top of my head, I can't I can't remember who this goes to, so help me out. But I'll tell you right now, that, that mask is, pretty sure that mask doesn't go with him because it's just the color scheme and all that just doesn't really match up. Actually, this might be, does this go to Iguana? Is this, is this Iguana's helmet? Let's see here. It's got that purple. Kind of looks like it would go to him. Now, wouldn't that be something I get that? And this goes to him. So is that Iguana's helmet, guys? That I got with Bullet? I don't know. But I'll have to go back and research that, so I apologize. But anyways... Here we have it. We got Bullet. Just don't have his mask. And then moving on, I believe this is the one I've been really trying to find a decent one in a decent condition. And I'll give, I'll give you his name here in a second. is him who I thought this is going to be one of my favorite in the Venom bad guy side of things and that's going to be Cliffhanger yeah pretty stoked here sticker on the engine compartment still there check it out um I do believe there was a sticker on the back that said Venom, if I'm not mistaken. Could be wrong, let's see if he pops up here. Yep, still pops up. We got the gun, the gun works, it's not broken. The hood should, let's see. You gotta remember, these toys are close to 40 some years old, so I don't know if the everything is gonna work completely 100% but I don't want to force it right now let's see oh yeah there we go there we go push forward comes down the guns appear to be stuck might need to do a little bit of working on that to get that uh, get those out but anyways cliffhanger guys check it out yeah one of my favorite um, bad guys in the in the line just i love the way he talked i remember as a kid he was just so stupid the way he talked <laughs> so anyways and we got his action figure man we got him and we got his helmet or his mask and he's in good shape man he's he he's in really good shape so check that out that's awesome yeah pretty cool so Pretty stoked to add these new four to my collection already. So thank you to all the guys that uh, work with me on those auctions. Um, I really appreciate it. And I, I wanna say, I'm pro I feel that I'm a fair eBayer when it comes to stuff like that. I don't try to, you know, you know, put guys down on their prices and all that, but I will occasionally negotiate if they if they have that option like for the most part like we we should all know how to do our own research and whatnot 
and when we do it, we know what we're going into. We know what we want to spend. So, but every once in a while, I might see something that's really, really good, but it's like really far stretched out in the price point. So yeah, I mean, I'm, I'll hit them up and be like, hey man, I, I think you're kind of out, you're, out you're, you're stretching yourself out there a little bit, but uh, would you be willing to negotiate? And I do it, I do it politely, I do it friendly, because at the end of the day, man, th these are just toys, right? I'm not looking to get rich off anybody here. Uh, hopefully they're not wanting to get rich off, off, you know, people like myself or fans, you know, wanting to get this stuff. So I get it, it's a business, but at the end of the day, there's a point where you have to draw the line and go, wow, that is just so crazy, I can't believe the condition that's in and they're charging that much. So if I see that and they're willing to negotiate and they accept my offer, what the heck, why not? So, all right guys, I'm gonna wrap this up. I'm already at like 20 minutes or something, I believe. So here it is guys, I got four new mask toys to add to the collection. I'm so stoked. My mask collection is slowly, slowly building. And um, before I before we go, if y'all notice, I've got my um, uh, Pearl Harbor, Hawaii um, Memorial Day shirt on. And um, I just wanna pay respect to all the servicemen that have, and women that have fallen um, in, you know, in the past. You know, my grandfather served, uh, my wife's grandfather served, uh, her, uh, her dad served, and just taking, um, taking a second to remember the fallen, right? That's what this is about. Having the barbecues and having all that stuff is good and getting together as friends and family and, and coming together. But remember what this what this uh, this weekend is about. Now, I'm shooting this video today on Sunday. So, you know, tomorrow's Memorial Day here in the States. Uh, so I'm just paying my homage to it. Thank you to all the current servicemen and service women for serving in the armed forces. And let's not forget about the ones that gave the ultimate sacrifice. And uh, Tony, you know, I know you're not American, but uh, happy Memorial Day to you as well, sir, since you served for your country and all the other veterans out there in the world. So appreciate it. We'll end there. Guys, if you like videos like this, let me know. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'll try to do more videos behind or in front of the camera. So without that, um, you know, without further ado, let's wrap this up. And yeah, my first in front of the camera, <laughs> my first in front of the camera um, video. So, or, you know, review camera, if you will, or review uh, image in front of the camera, if you will. So yeah, I had fun. This was cool. So, all right, guys. We'll see you later.